Hey guys, welcome back to 90 Feet From Home. I'm your host, Ashley, and today we are going to talk about launch angle and exit velocity. And these are two terms that have kind of come into popularity more recently with stuff like StatCast, which will be its own video, uh, appearing in games more often. And what StatCast does is it kind of tries to create statistics for every part of baseball play. So things like the difficulty of degree of catching and um, the different angles and speeds at which balls leave the stadium or stay within the stadium. So there are different metrics for almost every part of the game and StatCast seeks to kind of create metrics and statistics that allow us to measure those. So one of those is launch angle and exit velocity. And so now in more recent baseball, every time you see a batter hit a home run, for example, you're going to see something that pops up that lets us know what the launch angle and exit velocity of that particular hit was in addition to the distance that it went. Now different types of launch angle and all launch angle is, is the vertical angle at which a ball leaves a hitter's bat once it's been hit. And there are kind of typical launch angles for different events in play from home runs to pop outs. Um, so I'm going to give you kind of a quick breakdown of what the more typical angles of launch are for those types of play. So if we consider a 90 degree angle from zero to 90, a ground ball will have about less than 10%. So it'll be quite a, you know, a ground ball will usually have less than 10%. So it's quite a low angle, which is why the ball stays in play and kind of hits the ground and is typically gone for a ground out or a double play. A line drive is 10 to 25 degrees. And so those will usually kind of get past the infielders into the outfield or go further, but they do still remain quite low into the field, which is what makes them harder to catch because they kind of just go right past the knees of most of the infield or outfield players. A fly ball will have a 25 to 50 degree angle. So this is quite a bit higher now. Uh, more more than halfway to 90 degrees because that would be 45 degrees. Look, I'm getting better at math. Um, and so that will create an angle at which the ball will go quite high up, but will still be catchable within the area of play of the field. And a pop up will be anything over 50 degrees, which goes quite high up then, but still remains in the field and is a playable ball. Now, of course, a home run ball will have a launch angle anywhere in that range, though it will usually be over 25 degrees because 25 and under is something you'll see a ground ball or a line drive, but over 25, you may end up seeing that clear the outfield wall. What exit velocity measures is the speed at which the ball is going as soon as it leaves the hitter's bat. Typically, a batter is going to want to have a higher exit velocity than a lower one because the higher the exit velocity, the more likely that ball has been hit quite hard and harder hit balls tend to go further. And a higher exit velocity can be the difference between a very long pop-up and an actual home run. And so if this is being referred to in a broadcast, you may often hear it referred to as exit velo. And that is, of course, just the velocity at which that ball has left the bat. And a note on exit velocity, these speeds are usually higher than 100 miles per hour. And that is a really, really fast ball. So this is why we're seeing more and more stadiums build more netting around the kind of infield and foul ball areas of the stadium to protect fans because a ball exiting a bat at 110 miles per hour, I don't care if you are paying attention or looking at your phone or you're holding a baby, there is no way you're going to react fast enough to stop that or protect yourself. So the reason that they're building that additional netting is because those exit velocity speeds of balls are so fast that the damage done and the reaction time for the average person is just, it's not enough. Um, and I know this is a pretty contentious thing and a lot of fans are like, no, I don't want nets. Um, but I know most people don't want 114 mile an hour fastball to the side of their face. So, you know, it's a bit of a trade-off and the nets are usually quite thin um, and easy to see through. So we're seeing those extend now almost all the way to the end of the foul poles um, in some stadiums, but almost all stadiums now have them all the way to the end of each dugout. Um, and that's why, because 114 mile an hour foul ball uh, could kill you, basically. So there you go, guys. Just a really quick breakdown of exactly what you're looking at when you see the phrases exit velocity and launch angle. Uh, and if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up down below. And remember to hit subscribe while you're down there and ring the bell if you want to be notified every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday when a new episode goes live. And of course, you can always follow me on social media where I'm at 90 feet from home on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next time, guys, we'll see you again. Bye!